Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. We normally try to make sense of the years on a real estate market, and part of the real estate market is everybody worrying about water. So we're gonna have a little update today and talk about what's going on. Obviously, if you live here, you know it has been wet, 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 and wet. Uh, you're probably at home still trying to kill weeds. And uh, it's been a good thing. You've seen what's going on in California with all these atmospheric rivers. I think Lake Tahoe has 84 feet of snow. Lake Shasta is filling up. All their reservoirs are at capacity. And they haven't even begun the snow melt yet. And that's exactly where our situation is. We are letting reservoirs um, overflow and drain. We're letting some water out to make room for all the water that's going to come when we have the snow melt. But let me show you some of the good news that we have here. And that is that right now... If we look at the January report right here, um, you can see all these areas here in yellow are known as abnormally dry. So it's pretty much out in the west and then the southeast, abnormally dry. And this is uh, moderately dry on up to, if it's red, it's extremely dry. That's January. And you take a look at where we're at today in March. Look at that improvement. We just have a little bit down here in the southeast portion next to New Mexico. So that's an amazing improvement when you just look at two months. So the um, water is rushing down the hills. We had very wet winter, very wet spring. And then we have another chart here. It's going to be a bit of an eye chart, but I'm just going to kind of walk you through it because you'll find it very interesting, I hope. And that is the amount of runoff in cubic feet and the capacity in our reservoirs. Roosevelt Lake, 106%. Well, how can it be 106%? Well, they have an area for overflow up there. So it's obviously overrunning its banks, and we have more water than it can hold. So the total Salt River system sitting here at 104 now. Total Verde system, total uh, Verde system sitting at 90%, and the total reservoir system is 102 Compared to last year, 71. Those are great improvements, my friends. And what's happening is normally the water comes down to like Granite Reef Dam and it starts getting distributed through our canal network here, our SRP canals around the valley. But now they're letting it spill over the Granite Reef Dam down into the Salt River, fill up Tempe Town Lake, spill over the other side of Tempe Town Lake, and you can see water just gushing out into the desert. Now, it can be a little disheartening as you're going, oh, we're wasting all this water. Well, there's a, there's a portion of it that goes down and replenishes our aquifers, according to the uh, lead meteorologist with SRP. He said, not enough. We wish we had more. And he did say that they are going to be raising the level of the dam at Bartlett Lake, but that's going to take maybe about five years or a little bit longer to give us more storage capacity. Right now, uh, we're in pretty good shape. So if we get another wet winter like this next year, we're going to be in great shape. Where you're going to see, see some relief as well is up in areas like Pine Top and uh, Payson, where people were having their dwell, wells run dry. This is going to help quite a bit. Uh, Colorado River remains to be seen. We are seeing... Um, um, uh, what the heck's the name of that lake over there? That big lake right before Las Vegas. I'm having a little brain fart here. Anyway, they're coming up a little bit. They've come up about five feet. And uh, Lake Powell has come up. But the good news is it's been coming up uh, just on its own without the snow runoff from the Rocky Mountains. Now, some of the past problems has been that the Lake Mead. That's what I was thinking of. Jeez. Um the water that was, the snow that was melting in the Colorado mountains, a lot of it wasn't making it down the river because the ground was so dry that it just soaked it up. Not the case this year. They have a ton of snow up there and a lot of runoff. So it hasn't even begun to happen yet. So there could be some hope for the Colorado River. We get about 33% of our water from the Colorado. The rest we get from our aquifers and the Salt River Project. So this is very encouraging news. And I'm anxious to see how the plans go together for the expansion of uh, Bartlett Lake and the Bartlett Dam. And that uh, could help us quite a bit. But for now, um, 
we're in good shape. Now, we're in good shape, but <coughs> June gets hot in June. We've got all these beautiful, dry, beautiful green grasses out there now. It's going to dry out. It's going to get very brittle. The fire danger is going to be high. So we're blessed with the rain, and we're going to be cursed with the fire danger. So this summer, got to be careful out there. So pay attention when they issue these uh, these warnings about uh, where you can and cannot have a campfire. And also, if you're towing like a trailer or a boat, you don't want that chain bouncing along the road, creating a spark because that's what lights those grasses. And away we go. So let's hope that doesn't happen this year. But for now, let's just relish in the greatness of all this rain that we've had. I'll keep you posted here. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button.